the first and most common way of controlling the flow of the program is through the use of an if expression which allows the program to do something only if a certain condition is true for example consider the following code if five greater than two go and print for me hey five is greater than two let's run and see and here we go hey five is greater than two if we put five less than two hey five is greater than two it's less than two let me see and here we go nothing happens and nothing is printed out so if five less than two and it is not the true so the if condition this between the two parentheses concerned and related to f are not executed so this is this is a simple if expression if the condition is true this is the condition so between the parentheses uh, are is the condition so these numbers are the condition then the expression will execute the code between the braces so if the condition between the parentheses is true then the expression between the braces would be executed okay if the condition is false between then the comp expression won't execute it will not be executed uh, and the code between the braces is not executed so if this condition is not a true like if five equal or five less than two this will not be executed the code between the two parentheses will not be braces are not be executed okay curly braces code will not be executed if the condition is not true the term if expression is used here instead of if statement since unlike many other programming uh, programming languages a value is returned from the if expression the value return or the value returned is the value of the last expression in the if block so despite the conditional statement it will be a conditional expressions Supre. okay now let's continue with if expressions you are not required to use the return value or assign it to a variable you will see some more on returning a value next so you can extend an if expression to provide code to run case the, in the case of conditions turn to be false how to do that this is known as else close so if five is greater than two go and go uh, uh, make this otherwise if five is less than two what to do it will print oops five is less than two let me run and see and here we go Kotlin goes and start reading from here 
if the condition five greater than two is true, then go and print this. And this is true because five is greater than two. And it is executing all the code between these curly braces. Otherwise, else would be executed if this if condition is not true. Let me see. Five is a less than two. So five is less than two or greater than. I will keep it. If five less than two uh, condition one is true here condition two is true let me run and see and it will return condition two is true if five less than two and this is not not true so this code till here would be skipped because the condition is not true so everything related to the first condition which is defined by five less than two between the curly braces it will not be executed it will be skipped it will execute the else condition because this is at a false what is the true? This is the true. So it will be executed. Condition two is true and is executed. Okay. You see guys the, the conditional expressions and how they are working together and how the logic of this would be uh, like determined by understanding the conditional expression and making and make thinking of about uh, the, the flow of your program and you are going to use 99% of this control flow in all of your programs okay now one another thing before we uh, finish the conditional expression lesson if I need to check if 5 equal to 2 here f is less than 2 the otherwise it will return if 5 greater than 2 but if I want to check if 5 equal to 2 then I need not to use else I need to use else if and I need to insert a condition so f greater than 2 so condition 2 is true and otherwise I will put else and print condition to 3 3 is true if 5 less than 2 print this else if 5 greater than 2 it will print this otherwise it will print 5 equal to 2 5 equal to 2 let me run and see and condition 2 would be executed because 5 is greater than 2 it is not less than and it is not equal now let's test with a real the constants so val x equal to 5 val y equal to 6 now let's check for real values of these so if x less than y print x less than y if the condition 2 is x greater than y y or x is greater than 
greater than y. Else, x and y are equal. Okay, let me run and see. It prints for us that x is less than y because it goes and verifies x less than y, 5 less than 6. Yes, it is true. So go and execute this uh, code between this curly braces related to the first condition and they drop these conditions. Okay, now let me change it. And here we go, we have else if is executed. So the condition two is executed because 15 is greater than y and it tell us x greater than y. Now let's change y also and give it an equality to x. And here we go, it, okay, it uh, tests for x less than y, 15 less than 15, no. F else if 15 greater than 15 no so skip this line now else they are equal if the first if x less than y no if x greater than y no therefore x equal to y these are the three conditions and you can put many conditions here and so on as your program and your application dictates so thank you guys I will see you in next videos.